Hello folks and welcome back to Core Farms. Here we are doing some more contract work. So we did some various contracts. That got us about four grand or so. However, I've gone in these two pieces of equipment because we're using slice bells. So we got the New Holland's SW4014. Don't know why he's got the key brand on it. I've got the new Holland D800. We could have gone with the D1000. However, the difference is the D1000 goes up to 240 centimeter square bells. However, we can't do those sizes, so. So, you've got fields 70, 78, and 79. So, that's those three there. So, that should get us a decent amount of money. Nothing else is popping up at the moment. Corn on 58. But yeah, apart from that, nothing else. So, we have a look here. So we've got 70 here. And then we're doing 70 and 79 as one field. So yeah, let's go into the cost. There is a pickup. Will help you if you unfold at all. And then we'll make sure we've got the right bell sizes. So nope. We want two twenty centimeter bells. And see how big of a bells we can get for these, so well, actually not that big. But the good thing is we didn't have to stop. Unlike before, where we had some every time it was unloading. Where is that? 220? Oh, it is. I thought they would have been bigger than Ram Bells. Oh, I must have got it mixed the wrong way around. Ah, this is going to make it interesting loading it all up onto the trader. Surely that can't be right. Turn off a second, it's beeping. Two and a half thousand year bells. What is the difference between that and then if we say go to 180s? a difference. 2,000 versus 2,500. Yeah, 2,547 and 2,084. I don't know why it's beeping at me all the time. It's like as if I'm doing something wrong. Uh, well, I wish we got the Bigger round bigger one. Nah, it's worth it again. I guess. Yeah, as per side is we didn't have to stop. But fairness if he was doing round bells it was gonna take longer because that's what, three and a half thousand year bells they were? Ah, I'm missing a ton of bits over here. That's not really what I wanted. Turn the times up. Uh, yeah, it sucks, but uh, I guess it's, it is what it is. Could do with like a Heston Bader. Man, they're so damn expensive though. You're looking at a hundred plus grand for them. I'm guessing you're paying for the premium of. Yeah, having bigger bells. Easier to wrap. Let's go over here. Grab these bits here. Okay, do this. There we go. There we go. Yeah, 
yeah, the duties makes it maneuvering a bit of a challenge, but just try to keep on the straight bits rather than cutting across so we just have a consistent feed of grass. So anyways, we will finish this off. Shouldn't take too long. And then we'll see where we go from here. a complete disaster. Um, it's a small painter but it's absolutely useless with our loader and that system so at the end of it I did half of that was silage, half of that was grass. It actually came to the same amount what we got here about 93,000 years. It's about 94-ish to that load so where we stand at the moment is the last contract is not completed on field 17. That's because we take only sold half the bells in here and the rest were grass. Oh uh, yeah, I just, I just couldn't be bothered to deal with it, so it was frustrating. So you know what I went heck it. Leave it at that. So we're still getting some money. But not as much, so here's what it is, it's one of those things, but I and they what you can you do? There we go. So yeah, make some money. How much was that? Just uh, go through 25 grand for the bells. So yeah, not too bad overall. Was it worth the hassle and stress? Eh, yeah, no, not so much. Not at all. Oh, so is there any more stuff to do? And there's cotton. 96 and 42. So 42 is bottom right almost. And 92, wait a minute, 96, sorry. And 96 is uh, just to the right of our farm. Between 95, 94 on the left middle, so yeah, a bit far apart. I'm tempted to do sugar beets. <laughs> so that feel 40. But yeah, that could be interesting. I mean, you know what? Let's have a rest. Let's have a day off and I've did some morning contract work, so. I'm going to get some rest and that and wait for the slides to come through because apart from that, there ain't much else to do at the moment unless any other interesting contracts pop up. If they do, I will include screenshots or videos. But until then, I'll see you folks in November. Well, it ain't quite November yet because whilst I was having lunch and that, the contract popped up so we've gone and done this so we've got Fjord 107 that is a 20 grand contract and all we need to do is put two more bells in and the rest is ours so we're going to do that get 20 grand for that also I completely forgot 
luckily I went back out my hand, had a little bit of a break. But I was going to check my little sticky notes I left in my office and we got to plow and seed the new field. So we'll go ahead and do that. So let's go and sell these bells. There we go. 37 grand. And 9 grand there for the contract. So yeah, now we need to go to the shop and pick up some equipment because that is where they are. So we released a plow and a cedar. All in all, that costs us 1100 quid, so pretty cheap equipment we're using, but it's definitely worth it. So, I'm going to head to the shop and then we'll zoom from there. And there we go, so we've got two bits of equipment leased out. So, sorrow with is the plow, it's the SP10M. That does require 320 horsepower, and this only has what? Two 90 something like that or 264 so we're going to be a bit underpowered there but I think maybe worth it and then we've got the Air Sim 6040 that's got a bag of seeds in there so cedar is not the problem it's going to be the plow we are definitely pushing our luck here with the horsepower requirements however Thinking it will be worth it. Got duties on, so that may help with traction and that. Don't really want to spend 40 grand on the upgrade engine, because I'd rather upgrade this to the next series up that's coming out in the next year or so. But, you know, the only one way to find out is just try it out, so. That is exactly what we're going to do. Cedar it is a 6 meter, I think it is. So, it costs 70 grand brand new, so that's an option for us, at least for cedars. Just start off with before going to the more bigger ones. Or 650 up here with the fertilizer spreader. So, so, I think if we do is plow. Fertilize seed and fertilize, and also we need to lease out a roller. How much is going to be for a goddamn roller? So, looking at 41 grand for a decent sized one, that's two grand. Or just 100 quid for a cheap one there, so. Ooh, I don't know on that. But anywho, we'll pop this down here. Get this baby hooked up. And if you look about this, it probably then folds up and down. It expands, so this should do nine miles an hour. So let's see how much that it can actually do. So it's doing it. We're managing fine, actually. <laughs> I did not expect that. Yeah, look at that, it is doing, it is ploughing. Yeah, look at that. I think the dually stuff he helped us out there. There we go, let's try to get as close as we can to the hedgerow. I think the hard part is going to do the heads and getting everything as close to the edge as possible. But as you remember, we still need to mow this, or if we plant a crop, we still need to be able to harvest it without clipping the trees or anything. There we 
go. So yeah, what we're going to do now is continue on with this. This should not take us too long to do. Get seed plowed, fertilized, seeded, and then fertilized again. I know it needs to be rolled, so we need to do that. So, how much is it for rolled to these two grand? Nope. You know what? Let's go and do that. So fill roller. Nah, not gonna change colour, just keep it like that. So we'll lease out for two grand. It's gonna make a difference for two grand's worth. Maybe, maybe not, but you know what? I'm not complaining as it won't always find out. So yeah, I guess we're done. And I'll see you folks once we are done. So that is everything done. We all, even the steady rock picker, was it worth it financially wise? No, because that cost us about two grand or so. Go have a look again. Yeah, 2600. And we've got about five, six hundred pounds in stones. So financially, was it worth it? However, what it does mean is we save money on 
repairs and that because with the rocks and that it does increase wear and tear on our implements when we do actually own them obviously releasing them at the moment like so really was it worth it perhaps not but it takes wear and tear I'm not sure if it affects the tractor as well but the tires yeah, at least prevents the risk of getting punctures and that and even if we damage some of these decent equipment if we tear a furrow or a ripper on that then while you're reliable to pay for that at the dealership so overall it was worth it my strongest opinion now it's just to finish off with the second application of fertilizer so I think we'll risk also keeping the cedar and the plow out for another day until November so you've got new contracts in that because you can still plant wheat, barley and that so we'll keep them these because if we get some contracts over the winter then we definitely need it because I want to push over the winter get as much money as possible because I want to go to the bank and that and get a loan out so we can get a farm and some equipment in however we need some money in so I don't have to take out as much of a loan because we're still going to have to pay interest on it which is about 10-15% I, uh, I don't know what it is like but I haven't been to the bank in a while so obviously if we get like a variable interest rate loan on like how long we need loan it out for affects on how much we pay for obviously depends on like all your differences in personal and business loan this is purely for business and even if we say we put our equipment up as collateral damage that may help us on that with the amount we can get because in my mind half a million is in my mind yeah half a million we're gonna need I think at least that's not including the combine now that's just purely for the farm and some much needed implements things like cedars plows and that yeah it's a big risk and it's gonna be a big gamble for us but I think overall it's gonna be worth it in the end so I think next time we will be in end of November into December perhaps when the site is ready because it's already at 25% done so it's going to take one month and not two months so I'm glad on that it's going to take just a month to ferment and also with this stones we'll sell them but not now because I'm going to go to the dealership and see if we can borrow their Volvo for a couple of hours maybe looking at a couple of hundred quid in that for a couple of hours of rental fees or for the afternoon but apart from that that shouldn't be too bad stones themselves will cover the leasing costs and the silage it's just pure profit ah dang it we need to put the lime down does this do lime? no it doesn't ah rats uh, that's gonna be 2200. Uh, you know what? Heck it. Small. Nah, you know what? Let's see, sir. Let's get 10,000 litres of lime. So, is it under pallets? Nope, it's big bag, so we need five of these. And whatever we don't use, we can always just. Well, you know, just keep it. All you got me is getting an actual a pallet fork, because I don't think we've got a pallet fork yet for this. Yeah, I know, we need a pallet fork. Let me, so then we can grab that and then we'll quickly get some liming done. And there we go, so we've got the lime here. Luckily, we managed to get to the shop just in time. That's because it shut at 6, but luckily the dealers are doing a bit of paperwork after closing. 
So it was able to quick go in and pick up stuff, so you know what? I am glad about that. But now let's go and get this liming done, so this shouldn't take us too long. Let's put a nice fair application down. We may need some more lime. But I do know a place at the BGA that we can get some cheaper lime from. Because, yeah, we're using quite a bit here, so... You know what? The quick is done, and then we'll come back in a second here. I think, actually, we may be just in luck with the amount of lime, so... 6% left. Come on. Don't run out on me, please. Four, three percent, two. Oh yeah, I think we just about got it there. Yeah, I think we just about got it. Just a couple of spots here and there. Just a quick application. And there we go. That is the alignment done. So we'll get his return to the dealership. And that said, we'll keep a lot of this leased. So we'll return this. But the plow and cultivate, not plow and cedar. I mean, it doesn't cost us too much to keep for another month, so... You know what? That's what I'm going to do, and see what it brings. But anyways, have a look at the yields. The only thing we didn't do was mulching, but obviously that this was a meadow grass, so mulching wasn't really possible, but we're getting a 98% yield bonus, so you know what? I am absolutely chuffed with that. But anyways, that's where I'm going to leave it today. As always, hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, smash that button. Feel free to go down below. If you want to share some, please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, then please consider. But, for you to do, hope you have a nice day. But for now, this is me, Farmer, Envoy Extreme. And I'll see you all very soon.